It's got to be a totally different approach. Larry Turner and Todd Gloria, and I'm not here tonight saying mission accomplished, have already faced off in debates. So we asked the two men running to be mayor of San Diego to sit down with us individually for separate conversations. We started off asking how the candidates plan to bring down the sky high cost for renters and people looking to buy homes in San Diego. Mayor Gloria says it's an inventory problem and the city needs to add many more units. You know, I've issued two executive orders to speed up housing production. What we used to permit in months or years is now being done in 30 days or less. What that's resulted in, Carlo, is in 2022, the city permitted about 5,000 new homes. Last year, we did nearly 10,000 new homes. That increase in inventory is already starting to show uh, leveling off of rent growth. In some places, rent's going down. For Larry Turner, the high price for housing in San Diego is more about developers gaming the system than it is about the number of units available. I mean, part of it is uh, the preserving the affordable housing that we currently have. We have what a lot of people call NOAA, the naturally occurring affordable housing. And unfortunately, uh, under this administration, we bulldoze over a lot of that for some new construction to come in and take its place. Beautiful buildings, you know, with market rate apartments in there, but we just got rid of uh, affordable housing in doing so. Flooding in San Diego in January brought front and center major problems with the city's infrastructure. Measure E on the November ballot will let voters decide whether to add a one cent per dollar sales tax increase in the city. It's estimated that would generate 400 to 500 million dollars a year that would go toward the general fund. A city report estimates the price tag for necessary infrastructure projects at more than $9 billion. Mayor Gloria supports the measure. The city's general fund to run the city for a year is $2 billion. There's no way to belt tighten our way out of it. And by continuing to ignore this issue, it costs San Diegans even more in broken axles and flat tires on our roads, in the loss of economic opportunity when things like the OVP are closed, in the hundreds of millions of dollars of water that we've had to flush into the ocean because our dams are over 100 years old and need to be rebuilt. A penny is a small investment that will actually save consumers, I think, more in the long run and has a happy benefit of improving our quality of life, protecting our environment, and growing our economy. Larry Turner is against the sales tax increase and thinks there are better sources for new funding, including making San Diego more attractive to businesses and tourists. I'm looking at some of the, um, uh, the special revenue funds that we have set aside. We've got about a billion dollars there that can get us started in this process. But I would just tell you this, the basic things that a city, a mayor is supposed to do is keeping us safe, right, taking care of homelessness and infrastructure. On the safety side and the homelessness side, when we do that, we're going to get a lot more business coming back to San Diego. There are so many people, uh, businesses fleeing, there's people not bringing conventions here, uh, businesses that would like to come to San Diego and they're going elsewhere. Homelessness is one of the top issues mentioned time and again by San Diego voters. I started the discussion on that problem by asking what the candidates believe is the driving cause of homelessness in San Diego. Yeah, mental health and chemical addiction uh, and the numbers that are coming from out of San Diego. There's just a big misunderstanding that the mayor has on this and it's just because he's not on the street. Um, you know, he might be relying on some experts who uh, don't really get out and, and do the things that I do and that my friends do, uh, my advisors. Uh, so, you know, when you, you get out on the street and you actually see it from the tent level, uh, it's, it's a different story. Uh, they have a total uh, misdiagnosis of the problem. Mayor Gloria says the high cost of housing is the biggest driver of homelessness. It is a complex issue. Addiction, divorce, job loss, uh, mental illness, these are all contributing factors. Um, but at the heart of it is that housing is so expensive that even working and middle class people in the city struggle. You can imagine with someone that is as vulnerable as many of our homeless population, why they struggle in this environment. And that's why we're so passionate about building more housing. We all benefit when our housing inventory grows, not just those who are unsheltered, but again, the working and middle class of the city. The race is now down to its final weeks with voters presented with two clear choices. A challenger bringing his military and law enforcement experience into politics against an incumbent mayor who has served San Diego as an elected official for the last 15 years.